Okay, first of all, uh, save your file. All right, so you have this nice outline. Uh, I'm going to get away from the pen tool a little bit and show you how to make this cutout for the uh, for the artist palette here. And again, there's a I'm going to like give you a lot of new material here, so you are going to have to pause the video and replay it. Uh, it'll all make sense. Okay, first of all you have your nice outline that you've worked on and um, the first thing you want to do is select this with the selection tool enable the selection tool the black arrow and select your line that you just drew your outline and so you can see the bounding box okay so ensure that you can see the bounding box the operation required to cut this little uh, hole out, this object has to be filled. So ensure you can see the bounding box. Come to the left side where your uh, stroke and fill settings are. So of course, if you've been following along, we have no fill and a black stroke. That's wonderful. We're gonna, what we're going to do is swap this. There's this little curly Q arrow if you hover over. It says swap fill and stroke. So we're going to make a black fill and no stroke. So I'm going to click on this. Let me zoom out. I'm going to click on the little uh, curly Q arrows. And now I have this object as a black fill and there's no stroke on it. Uh, if you missed any of that, just rewind the video. OK, so black fill, no stroke. I can see the bounding box. The strategy is I'm going to draw an ellipse here and do an operation that cuts out that hole. Well, I can't see where the hole is. Okay. How do I re rectify that? <clears throat> Come over to the right side of your workspace. You, you'll probably have your layers palette open. Um, opacity is a little bit different. Uh, Photoshop is like really intuitive and it's easy. <clears throat> Setting opacities in uh, Adobe Illustrator is to me a little bit weird. Okay, so anyway, we have our layers palette icon. If we go three up you get this thing it's like a looks to me it looks like a sun uh, hover over it, it'll say appearance click on appearance and this is the appearance palette you got path uh, stroke and fill and uh, the opacity set at default this is where it gets a little bit confusing for what we're gonna do click on the arrow next to fill and we're gonna set the opacity hit the click on opacity and we're going to set this opacity to 50 that's a lot of steps to get to opacity <laughs> okay but that's just that I, I didn't design it folks all right so i'm going to set this to 50 and hit return and i'm going to zoom out here okay so i got the opacity set to 50 hit return and there now i can see the uh i can see the location of the hole um, is that a lot of clicks and steps? Yes, it is. So rewind the video, get to this point, and I'll wait for you. Okay. Once you get this, now what we're going to do is draw an ellipse over here and do uh, an operation to cut it out. Come to the left side of your uh, workspace. Pen tool we've been using. You'll see a big letter T, and then two down from the letter T is... Uh, as you'll see, it'll probably default to Rectangle Tool. Hit the drop-down menu next to Rectangle Tool and choose Ellipse Tool. Okay, and then come over to your Artist Palette where the hole begins. Just put the, the crosshair cursor there. Click, hold, and drag. It doesn't have to be perfect. And um, get an ellipse kind of, sort of, the same size. It does not have to be perfect, folks. Don't worry about that. So let go. And um, this is what you'll get here. Enable the black arrow. Position your ellipse so it's over the location of the hole. Okay. Next step. Uh, again, rewind the video, folks, if you missed this. Now, black arrow selected. I'm outside. Come outside the uh, artist palette and the ellipse. Click, hold, and drag, do a marquee selection. Both 
objects are selected. Okay, this is a big deal. You have to do a marquee selection, ensure that this guy is selected and this guy is selected, and you can see the bounding box. Next step, window, um, pathfinder. Yeah, this is new stuff, I, I get it. So if you're rolling your eyes and freaking out, don't worry. Uh, when the Pathfinder palette will open, and if you cursor over the first one, it'll say Unite. The next one will say Minus Front, and there's some other stuff here. The ones you'll use in your uh, most, as you use Illustrator, are Unite and Minus Front. So I can see the bounding box. Both these guys are selected. I'm going to click Minus Front. When I click Minus Front, that hole cuts out. Okay. Now remember my uh, palette shape is still set at 50% opacity. So come on back here. If the appearances palette is closed for some reason, you can open it again. Open up if the fill is open up the fill, click on opacity, and set this opacity back to 100, and hit return. When I hit return. It's this nice solid black. This is what you want. This is your goal for this exercise. Uh, let me deselect so you can see it. So you want this nice, clean uh, vector image. Okay, uh, smooth curves, nice ellipse cut out. This is your goal. I know there was a lot of stuff in this video. Just go back um, and redo if you need to. And I'll see you in the next video. When you get to this point, I'll see you in the next video.